Hi guys, welcome to the short video about the question if we can or how we can add interactive checklists or check boxes to Google Docs. So here you are at Google Docs uh, with a new document and I have a small list and I want, like that's a shopping list and I want to add check boxes which I can use. I mean, if I have 100 items which I use on a regular basis and sometimes I have to buy, sometimes I don't have to buy, so I could reuse the list and just check uh, the, one, the things which I have to buy the, let's say this week so how to add that so we can mark the whole thing here which we, where we want to add checkboxes and go here to the bulleted list sometimes it changes a little bit so here currently it looks like it's in this bulleted list and we have these check boxes here so it looks like normal check boxes the problem is just that we cannot use them as normal and a lot of people say yeah we cannot do anything with that and but it seems like we can use them just it's a little bit cumbersome you can mark uh, one box like normal with the left mouse and then we use the right mouse and then we check the box so that's uh, yeah a little bit cumbersome but it, it works I mean, of course, it would be nice to have it a little bit easier, but really two times left mouse and then right mouse and then check it. So that definitely works, even though it's a little bit cumbersome. The only question is then how to turn it back. I mean, yeah, here when we right click, there's no empty box. That's a little bit the problem. I mean, we could use this one, but uh, it doesn't look the same. Uh, of course, there are uh, like more bullets which, which we can choose. We can go down and have a lot of them. I mean, when we uh, draw something like this, it will uh, show the list of the uh, boxes here. But as you can see, there's not the same one uh, here anymore. And yeah, so I mean, you could use something like that. And uh, yeah, you can see there's nothing, no uh, different behavior. Um, so for me, it works just like this. I mean, I would uh, definitely then mark it back. So just put it like this and next week when I prepare the shopping list, I reset everything and go through it and just start marking the things which I need again from scratch. So it's a little bit difficult to put them back on an individual base. Yeah, so it really looks like there's no real perfect solution for that there is just like a little bit of a compromise and yeah so what most people uh, actually recommend they recommend to use uh, different programs different uh, cloud uh, solutions and so on i think maybe there will be something which they, i mean there are add-ons which you can install like uh, on top of google uh, documents and uh, maybe there is something but i haven't found this uh, maybe somebody will come out and add this would be really nice to do maybe there's a solution for that and just nobody knows that if you have the solution the perfect solution for that like check boxes you can just activate and deactivate with one click would be really awesome if you have that let us know and apart from that i still hope i've been able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time